I think they made the Cornwall just to make use of the 3D graphics. I think that was the main reason they did it. Come down over here. There is Azelf. Point to the boulder. Let's push it down. Hop back down get this platform. And Azelf is going to be pointing to the left hole here. Push this boulder into this hole. And we are good to go. Now, remember Cynthia being over here? Come over and talk to her. <laughs> Apparently not, but look at that platform there. How convenient. Let us hop down, and there is Cyrus in the distance. You may want to save for what's coming up. Cyrus. I won't lose. It's time for the final Cyrus battle. He is back, and he means business. Starting off with Hound Doom level 45, Dark Fire type with the moves Flame Dirt, Dark Pulse, Will O Wisp, and Thunder Fang. Uh, a water type move is best here, but. Keep in mind, it has Thunder Fang. He covers his weaknesses. You'd be best off using something like a Quagsire. That would be your best bet here, but the porion has got such great defenses, it could withstand it. Uh, just so you know, I leveled up all my Pokemon with some rare candies since I'll be restarting after the walkthrough. I figure I might as well use them and I need them here because this is a really tough battle. Next up on the roster is Gyarados, the toughest of probably them all. He's a level 46 water flying type with the moves Giga Impact, Waterfall, Ice Fang, and worst off, Earthquake. If you're using an electric type, that is where things are evil. It also has Intimidate, which lowers your attack. That's also evil. If you can withstand an Earthquake here, which I have no idea, I'm praying I can, which I highly doubt. That would be your best bet on this thing. Miracle I survived that. I need to hope for a paralysis here, or I'm doomed. Or a KO. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Ugh. I'm not losing Luxray to that thing. I'll regroup. In general, your Pokemon should be around level 46, 7 ish. I'm under leveled, that's why I used some rare candies to help me level up, because I need the extra help here in this tough battle. Uh, let's see, now I'm going to stall with B-Barrel. This thing, it, it depends, it covers its weaknesses, that's why it's so hard to take down. I want to say it's probably the toughest of his team, actually. It's incredibly powerful, and it's just hard to resist the power of this thing. If you're lower leveled, it helps the PowerPoint stall with a lot of Hyper Potions. You should have a very adequate supply of them here. 
I hope I can live this earthquake as well, since I'm really close to the borderline of dying when he uses it. Okay, good. I'm not taking accuracy risks here. Weavile, probably his strongest Pokemon, but actually it isn't too bad. It's a level 48. It's dark Ice type of the moves. Night Slash, Ice Punch, Fake Out, and X Scissor. It is very strong offensively, and you can expect a Fake Out coming your way. That's just irritating. It will make you flinch, and it will be like five hit points, depending on your Pokemon. A good Still type or Fighting type will just devastate and the best thing about this thing is it doesn't cover its weaknesses so that is probably why this is one of act this actually could be very well his easiest pokemon to take down it does have a citrus berry but that citrus berry probably won't help it in its situation a good steel wing should finish it off Punch Crow is next on his roster. Punch Crow is level 47, dark flying type with the moves Drill Peck, Night Slash, Heat Wave, and Psychic. Good against it, because you can beat it at its own game. Uh, uh, Drill Peck, I'm worried about. I'm faster than it, but Drill Peck might KO. Ooh. Couldn't even do over half damage either. This could be a problem. Oh wow, I'm switching. I'm not risking it. Okay, you know what? I will risk it. I'm gonna use a hyper potion on Neptune. I think Neptune can take this thing down, so I'm gonna sacrifice Hound Doom here. Uh, Night Slash, uh, has, if, I don't know if its ability is Super Luck or not, but if it is, it will have a high chance of critical hit rate, and that can be very irritating. Juro Peck is just a powerful move. Heat Wave helps cover weaknesses, and Psychic helps cover weaknesses too. It's just good at covering its weaknesses in general. Uh, Ice Wave or Surf, or Ice Beam rather. Tough decision. Drill Peck is powerful, and I know this thing's powerful. I used one of these things before in my walkthrough. It is very offensively powerful. Defensively, though, is where it lacks, and that is why Neptune was able to take that out without much difficulty. Last up on the roster is the most annoying of his team, Crobat, level 46, poison flying type. With the moves Cross Poison, Air Slash, Toxic, and Confuse Ray. Status effects will be your downfall. A good Steel type cannot be beat though. That is your best bet here. Skarmory cannot be beaten unless it kills itself off here with Confuse Ray. As long as I keep using a Hyper Potion occasionally. Because right now Air Slash is the only threat to me. This thing is very fast too, so out, if you think you could outspeed it, that's a mistake. It's incredibly fast. Thankfully it didn't use Confuse Ray there. Hopefully I can get near a KO. Ooh, it lived. And it didn't kill. And I died. Okay, I'm gonna try to outspeed it even though I can't seem to take my own advice. Live. Yes! Yes! Victory! 
That is a tough, tough battle. That's like an Elite Four battle there. This can't be! No! No! 